day four of 11 days of remembrance. Okay, part two of the book. The lights go out in Europe. A weird hoax to launch a war. A dazzling army of German generals and admirals listened potentially to each word, word Adolf Hitler was speaking. The Fuhrer had gathered in, in his rustic retreat on the Orstberg, 6,208 feet above the Herkrak Bavarian village of Bershaw Dergen to brief them on his plans to go to war. It was August 22nd, 1939. Hitler got right to the point. They probably will never again be a man with more authority than I have. He declared, but I can be eliminated at any time by a criminal or a lunatic. Paused briefly, he added, there is no time to lose. War must come in my lifetime. Then the Fuhrer stalked the military leaders. He had signed a treaty of friendship with Germany's presumed arch enemy, the Soviet Union, a communist nation. It would be but a brief marriage of convenience. Now we can strike at the heart of Poland. Hitler started as Great Britain and France will not dare come to Poland rescue without the aid of Russia. Hitler added that Poland would be invaded by 1.5 million troops and hundreds of panzers. This was already masked at the frontier. Why day would be September 1st, zero hour, 4.30 a.m. Objective, the destruction of Poland as a sovereign nation. Knowing that the stark aggression against Poland would be condemned by most of the world, but the Fuhrer concluded his all-day criticism, I shall give a propaganda cause for starting the war, never mind if it's possible or not. The victor will not be asked afterward if he told the truth. Only mu as much later as the German military leader uh, learned that Hitler was ready to spring a word hoax code name Operation Himmler. It was proved that at least Hitler's mind he could blood provision him to prove to the German people and to the world that Poland had attacked first and that Hitler was always his wordland to avenge the wrongdoings. Hitler's machine of him by Hendrik Himmler, the SS chief who was a proven master of karaoke one of Himmler's trusty young SS officers, Alfred Gervox, was dressed to lead the operations. No truck, a typical of the strange being offered, attend to the SS accommodation, intelligence, and gangster. He had studied at the University of Kiel, where he had helped to obtain an engineering degree, but instead spent much of his time in brawls with communist groups, joining the new SS in 1934. Journals joined the attention of Himmler, who regarded the top response officer as a dual person to carry out Unnecessary projects. Now, Dufrejok was profound to imply the incredible hoax for six days. He had been held up and up 
Brooklyn, a small German town near the near the frontier of Poland, at noon, August thirty-first, Y day minus one. Berlin last words to Nurjak to launch Operation Himmler that night. Twelve German German civilian criminals, code name Coats, had been taken from prison, brought to the all plane and dressed in Polish army uniforms. Now they were given instructions by an SS doctor sworn to secrecy. Nurtar and a few of his SS men also donned Polish uniforms at 8 p.m. The 20 pair of drag criminals from outside a radio station at the village of Gernitz, only a few miles from Poland. At the signal direction, the man carried the criminals around the premise and sent each one to death. The nurturk of the men he spoke while Polish, Polish stood generally slowly into the radio transmitter. Then the SS men fled. Early the next morning, German newspaper photographers reported out the Gerzak radio station, and hours later, Rebels, the outstanding Third Reich, carried gruesome pictures of the Polish soldiers killed by German soldiers defending the station. The Fuhrer had the Pertrek next to invade at dawn. Adolf Hitler's masses cartoon against the Polish aggressions was launched at least one. Europe by the guns, it was from the laugh of many nations, but like a lightning war. That was wrong for them to do that. To just if it's Polish and then, yeah, that was just wrong. Most secret diffused the mechanic minds. When, hours after Great Britain had declared war on Nazi Germany on December 3rd, 1939, Adolf Hitler uh, ordered his countrymen to launch a maximum effort to single, to single the islands by sinking ships that have burned the British the food or supplies needed. The offense was returned uh, 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 within ten weeks in London. The, the first Lord of Henry Winston, as Churchill became suddenly more concerned about the S of German blockade, shocking the intelligence reports, informed them that 114 British neutral merchant ships had been sank by U boats, sur surface raids, and other type of known as mechanic mines dropped by triple U boats. The mechanic mines made it almost impossible for a ship. The pass anywhere nearby without the armor the mission a mass explosion to vessel of a Hitler's general from the U belts the also on the night of November twenty second, twenty third, nineteen thirty nine, the gods of war smiled on the British. A German bomber dropped a magnetic mine off Sugros in the the large deadly missile landed on a mud flat and was discovered at low tide after dawn. Royal Navy scientists and technicians rushed to the site. They had never seen a mine such as this one, so they could a question how can this lethal device be re rendered safe? so that it, it secrets could be uncovered and counter measures taken. Lieutenant Commander J. G. D. Offroad offered the offer of taking a highly treacherous task, volunteered to defuse the mine. General again, the job overly was connected to a radio several hundred yards away on shore by throat microphone in which he calmly discerned what action he was about to take. If he were suddenly thrown into powder, the next man to 
attempt to diffuse a manic mind would be the piece of final doing what to attempt. With a final dig but from a small tool, Jones proceeded to disarm Adolf Hitler's secret weapon, later atoned by the bosom over J. George V. had it be for honor the intact Malik mines could have been disastrous for Britain. As soon as the vice had been disarmed, it was rushed to a British scientific laboratory to discover its secrets. Great of them, all of this, including Arrow's fleet, to keep most secrets via British security category. Two technicians were in a double deck mine, and one, a Wellington bomber, was fitted with a huge Sturfield Hop, almost as large as the aircraft itself, was produced a strong magnetic field with enough wind flying low over shipping lanes. The Valentine would detonate any magnetic mines over which it flew. At the same time, the Britons began using ships as protective measures. Dang as such as a cable around the vessel and passing an electric current through it, which did not fill it up and any mine over which might pass by the spring 1940, the Royal Navy had won the secret war against Hitler's mine threat. But the change in the Atlantic, the English Channel, the North Sea, and the Mediterranean would continue to rage on and below the surface for another three years, with both sides suffering appalling losses in ships and men. Mystery Explosion in a Nazi Shrine Adolf Hitler was discovering fire and burned from speech before hundreds of the Nazi old guard. The Zizot had him during the 1923 push the offspring he is attempt to seize power in Germany and had landed him in prison. This site was the beer cellar, a short of Nazi shrine in Munich. It has been out uh, of uh, it was November 8, 1939, about two months since Hitler had divided Poland and since England had declared war on Germany. The Thierry had arrived in the hell at 8 p.m. He had gone tensions minutes later. He had heard of one of Cole's edits. Only several minutes after June of writing the adrenaline of a time bomb, playing in a parlor a few feet behind the old of the Nazi guard, including during the darkness of early morning. Hours and Dozer Hoff, the wake of the Hussite, the last the Italian prince of Virgin Fuhrer, Anthem Dolphin, the big boss Himmler was on the run Berlin, the, the, the British Secret Service, it has behind the plot Himmler, the credit of fear says that the, the owner to meet two British agents for your conference tomorrow in Holland, which if you are to kidnap them and bring them to Germany, this may mean a violation of the Dutch frontier, but the fear says that if no consequence since the outbreak of war ten weeks earlier, the 28-year-old Schoenberg had just a neutral Holland in civilian clothes several times to meet secretly with the two British agent Captain R. Henry Shevin and Captain S. Frenierhurst, who had targets on their colonel into Dutch territory. The ST officer posed as Major Schimmel Sergeant of the German High Command. He had convinced several uh, uh, of a uh, group of German generals plotting to overthrow Hitler. Both 
Seid hoped to gain from Uttram gain and fall on Hitler, and Himmler had begun hitting Schetzer reports that some German generals were conspiring against the Fuhrer. Sundberg was hoping to unmask them. The British had been attempting also to learn names of presumed German conspirators to possibly assassinate him. Heil Hitler and Himmler had a new goal, but two British agents, Factor Turbo, from an agent with a, by a hull of bullets fired by 12 German agents. Turbo had brought with him. Kopelk was killed instantly with a bullet through the head, but and seven were overpowered before they could align from the vehicle and resume him dead. Dutchman Kopelk into a car. Moments later, the big Mercedes was racing across the German border. The entire component uh, over him he had taken but five minutes. In Berlin, meanwhile, Joseph Goebbels, the regime propaganda, propaganda joints who controlled German newspapers, magazines, and radio stations launched a furious campaign that accused the British Secret Service of the Munich murders. Burning headlines in German newspapers demand a uh, revenge, a uh, reward to hundreds of thousands of dollars, some three million dollars in 1999, which offered for information leading to the arrest of the Kaltons who uh, had done the British bidding. Because the Munich blast had been uppered on such foot stealth performance scale, Hitler and the Nazi leaders would have been fabricated to know that the paper producer was a 63-year-old German car painter named George Elser. Elser came from a poverty-stricken family, and dr his drunken father used to beat that he had never beaten my wife with a chair or a club. This could quite school and I turned at the 14 years of age all over the years he had a strand of one me mental job in the 1938 the pure had sent the river into Czechoslovakia to slightly built out of himself to ride the world of Adolf Hitler and planning an assassination also will point down him there and uh, Met number eight to meet the Nazi old car. It was too late. In 1938, the Emperor is soon so his target. 1939 was huh? a Elser was convinced that he had selected the place of the assassination. He was a large planner running. In early April 1939, he reshared to Munich and Wurzburg. Uh, Elser was a week in Munich and made a point several miles in the purple to a fewer they were clearly visible in the finished photograph. After back desert where he could I could job equally large of social social detonators and fuses were Stored uh, about five or six feet of the on August 5th, Elsa began boarding a train. Kurzweil like some 150 pounds. Soon he rented a room in Munich and convinced his box of social damage. Uh, Hitler would speak. Then he would hide until the dining room closed at 11:30 p.m. Until the doll being a flashlight, Elsa and Elsa. I removed a panel from a pillar and began chipping away. After working for three or four hours, mindfully of telling footstep, he could panel a, uh, a chair. It was after 8 a.m. where the eating facility opened. Elser stood 
put out the front door, returning to his rooming house, and the nights I had uh, tedious work and Earl Tullerhood Hall shot always. Nearly a month after Elser began his work, war broke out in Europe when Adolf Hitler sent his mighty war drone plumbing into neighbor in Poland on December 1st, 1939. Well, after on the pillar counting the cruise paper uh, time, the explosion up to 150 hours after starting the noise by November 2nd, six nights before the Fuhrer would speak, Elzer picked the lock Serious entrance to the food biker stole inside and spent out the following night. The biker uh, came to a crucial part in counting for the old car rally as he had been in the past set timer to detonate the down 23 hours 20 minutes later in the middle of the Hitler speech. Elder sent left the Bernberg headed for his rooming house. He had spent 35 nights working alone under enormous stress to complete his job. At 7.30 p.m. on November 9th, the train on which Elster was making his gateway was nearing the border of neutral Switzerland. Back in Munich, Adolf Hitler was climbing into Especially built Mercedes Benz sedan with its bulletproof glass and armor plated body of the short drive to the Slickern site. At 8 p.m., he stood briefly into the Burfbaker with Van Vleck, the remains of Earth Wheel led the Nazi theme song as the old guard thunders roar of hearts the fewer. Uh, to the only a few feet behind the mechanism, the bomb was likely away about 8.30 p.m. Gerard Erling off the train 1,500 yards from the Swiss border and began sailing through the darkness towards freedom. Suddenly, two German officer police emerged to the weapons of the officer Adolf Hitler and then Switzerland. Now, which across were under the Hitler cut out the more boats into the personal once more. Once more the, in the black Berlin, Adolf Hitler was furious. Any idiot w- would have known that the surprise procurator could not have. Then act of will, the fear demanded to set the loan of the character. The loan and the first regular effect of the Rado Elser and the Dernard camp. Elser would never be tried for his attempt assassination for the fear and being in league with British agents, rather the capture would arrive nearly five years of inhumane treatment. Then on April 5th, 1945, with Allied armies closing on Berlin from Tusset from the West, Himmler ordered order Russell, just final real chief. The prisoner to die of massive head injuries from a bomb during the next Allied air raid. Four days later, Erod Elser was dead. Growing hires of Rainmaker in the curse of Adolf Hitler, September 1939, the shooting war in Europe had turned into a conflict of propaganda and jokes. I'm doing jokes. And the and the who uh, the circle phony war, the original growing the German soldiers shot friendly gestures and across mainland 
of a growing girl could any more than you should have though during the first few months of 1940 Adolf Hitler was waiting for a search of five clear days during which the Luftwaffe could spread across the office for uh, over, the, over the five days on May 10th, 1940 the air over the western front was darkened by 2,500 uh, growing warplanes. Netherlands code name Pegasus Yellow Knight was a Churchill Amazing Game World. In London, on the morning of May 10th, 1940, Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain, who for two years had been trying to uh, please Adolf Hitler, uh, resigned King George V. v VA Campbell to first Lord of the Almighty Winston Churchill to Buckingham Palace. After greeting Churchill, he asked him to sit down. The, the morning looked on the visitor as a prodigal to you. I don't want to live. Churchill replied, Sir, I certainly couldn't imagine why. Laughing, King George said, I want to ask you to form a government. Replace Chamberlain, the order of the chef, for an hour to discuss men dressed the black, black war picture. The new prime minister and the pals withdrew. Churchill Brooklyn were four years, 40 years planned into new duties with customary to uh, about the Allied Evo unfolding. The channel three weeks later three weeks later only a uh, 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 folding of two weeks later uh, uh, for eight hundred and fifty mainly civilian vessels to evacuate to England three hundred and thirty seven 131,000 British and French troops from Dunkirk. Churchill was stunned. Crossing the channel with the soldiers were only 25 tanks, 12 artillery pieces, and a handful of machine guns left behind at Dunkirk. Were nearly 120,000 vehicles, 2,300 artillery pieces, and motors, 8,000 green guns, 90,000 rifles, and 7,000 tons of ammunition and shells. Great Britain had suffered one of the worst military disasters in her territory. A few weeks later, France surrendered. Now Great Britain stood alone against the awesome might of Hitler's Jagermark, the English Channel, coast in France. Belgium and the Netherlands, Churchill offered to aid if they come, come, will not let them over her. Manager of the Great Britain, the Prime Minister ordered the planet of El to risk the royal family and government leaders to Canada if the Germans invaded. Their war against Hitler would be continued from there. But Churchill offered that the Operation Fish, seven billion dollars worth of Britain's gold securities transferred currently to Canada starting immediately. At the outbreak of the war of the September nineteen thirty nine, British citizens had been required to register with the government treasury. All their secretaries were both again documenting under powers on the and finally removed at a time and to the oh four thousand uh, my the British treasure and uh, uh, paying eyes for two thousand three hundred heavy boxing each including gold bars stashed anywhere. The cruiser were nearly five hundred boxes of security, a value of four hundred million. It covered to some four billion in nineteen ninety nine. There was no Certainly, Renegade arrived in Canada. Admiral Kerr the German U boat commander, had 
his submarines following the sea later between Scotland and Canada, some 3,000 miles on the west in the month. 57 Allied ships had been sunk in the North Atlantic under of darkness on June 24, 1940, the Admiral uh, slipping down the current into the Atlantic, where escort to the before our captain C. Fungrit of the Admiralty. Two U boats sunk hours earlier, where the head of the had made the U boat. And after July 1st, the Admiral had reached its destination, Halifax, Nova Scotia, armed with Sentinels from the Admiral backed off the uh, outside of her uh, officials of the Bank of Canada, then reckoned uh, it is being uh, over 12 hours after the Admiral had reached Halifax, the treasure train pulled away and headed to its stop, Montreal, were waiting on a first-run station where the Sydney J. Parker's train station red one in gold farthing on towards toward Ottawa set of the Canadian government before the treasure had begun by the Montreal building in Montreal Dungeon Square the, the down the last box had been placed in the United Kingdom security deposit. At, at Ottawa the time reigning railroad train cars on Chris on July 5th. Operation Fish continued with five ships sailing from Scotland to the uh, sea car rolling and a total value of 1.7 billion coming from some 18 billion 1999. The continued recess to offshore to an escort powerful battleship Revenge, a cruiser, and several destroyers that convoy three fifths of the trip were coming through. Thomas Allied ships had been sunk through the sea plane. The trouble struck the free Poland ship Betre, loaded with treasure, delayed engine problems, and could not sail it at normal speed, not own the risk, the ships and the convoy commander Presley aired General U-boat, the engineer Jake Downs, eight after leaving Scotland, four Admiral convoy into the Halifax Harbor, which they joined a few days after the Gulf. David Winter recruited 125 Canadians, retired Bankers and brokers of $25 billion and shipped to Canada, North Atlantic, and many of 1,000 persons, both sides of the Atlantic, were involved in the transfer of Great Britain's treasure, and secret was kept from Adolf Hitler. But the uh, end of the reading, I'll read the next one tomorrow. Um, they forgot about Canada. Britain was not alone. Canada was in World War II. For the whole of World War II. Yeah. They always forget about Canada. Well, if you, um, uh, if you, uh, see a veteran, say thank you to them and talk to them. And if they're having a bad day, maybe you just need someone to talk to. Just talk to them and... So yeah, they do Maybe they just need a friend. Maybe their friend died this year that they always talk to, and well, maybe they need a new friend. Well, I said thank you for the ones who fought for us to be free. I am thank you, thankful for that, and I and I am very thankful for what you did so I can make these videos. And thank you. This is the end of day. Four or eleven days in remembrance.